friends and welcome back to my channel. It is another beautiful, not really that beautiful because it's actually still really cold and gross where I live, but you know. So I wanted to uh, make a weekly vlog this time around. It's a little bit something different about basically what my week looks like because I don't know if a lot of you guys know this maybe you don't really know this but i actually work a full-time job so um along with like all of the stuff that i do in the fitness world whatever you want to call it i actually do work a nine to five job here in the dc area my arm is getting tired so i figured that it would be a really really great idea to kind of document what my life looks like in a typical week because i think that a lot of you guys don't really know what i do and how i really balance out everything um, when it comes to just fitness and my own coaching business and social media and yada yada and basically how have i learned to balance all of that because it now that i think about it it does really sound like a lot like I have my Instagram page, I have a YouTube channel, I have a weekly email list, I'm blogging now, I have online clients, I go to the gym, I still live a social life, so how do I do all that with having a 9 to 5 job, right? So it's Monday, I got back from work and I'm now dressed to go to the gym because physical fitness. And I'm going to go lift with my friend Alicia, so that is personally we'll go ahead and get that part out of the way what do i really do for a social life honestly when it comes to my social life i'm not really the person that goes out to like the bars or anything like that anymore um my social life really involves going to the gym and lifting with my friends so that's what i'm doing right now on a monday evening for today's gym outfit um i'm just wearing like a some gym shark stuff what else is new nothing much um so the sports bra is from the ombre seamless line and then the leggings are from their energy seamless line so this is what i'm going for today basically what i figured was just kind of documenting what a typical week in my life looks like and just show you guys how i really balance it all so hopefully this is going to be an exciting video for you guys to watch make sure to subscribe to stick around if you're not already and make sure to like this video if you like watching weekly vlogs because that's definitely something that would make more sense with my schedule i should probably do that more often okay so i'm gonna take some pre-workout now and then go to the gym today is actually chest today and triceps so let's go on ahead to the gym Joanna do chest day today. She, I didn't make her, she voluntarily said yes to me saying chest and tries. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do some exercises that we, sh we don't usually do. And she was like, okay. And then this girl, so I'm like, okay, we're doing tricep pull downs. And then she has a nerve to say, okay, we'll do tricep pull downs. And then also add 12 more of, no, I did overheads. And then she was like, do pull downs. And I was like, bye. <laughs> you know, I said at the beginning of this vlog that it was International Chess Day. I thought it was a real date as in February 25th. Turns out it's just because it's Monday. Every Monday. We can't even get a bench. I never train chess, so that's why I'm stupid. gym and because I actually was away in Florida this weekend um, I haven't been able to like get my stuff together in terms of like meal prep and my meals and stuff and see what I need to go to the grocery store for so just for like quick purposes I got Chick-fil-a um, so I don't always I try to do better with eating not eating out but for the most part I really do meal prep when it comes to like lunch at work but just a quick tip for like any healthy meals when you guys are on the go because we won't always have the time to have meal prep 
meal you know sometimes we gotta have something quick on the road so what i got was just a medium fry and then i got the uh the grilled chicken sandwich so that's one of the healthier well you know healthier options at chick-fil-a but just a quick tip for you guys for you chick-fil-a lovers out there so you can make things fit in your macros even if it's the spicy chicken sandwich you know i had a lot of macros left over um so i was able to fit that meal in so that's pretty much it so i will see you guys for tomorrow Hello friends and happy Tuesday. I'm actually taking a rest day today. Today was one of those days where I was super tired at work today. I did not go to sleep at a proper time last night. So tip number one for you um, with how to be fit throughout your busy work week is to make sure that you get enough sleep and go to bed at an adequate time. I did not do that last night, so I paid for it today. So that just means I have to go to sleep earlier tonight. Usually throughout the week, Anyway, I try to take two rest days a week and then I will actually schedule my rest days either on Mondays or Tuesdays because for me that makes the most sense when the gym is most busy. I want to take a rest day when the gym is most busy so it's less overwhelming, you know. Um, I didn't want to go a day without at least putting something in for every single day. So for today, even though it was a rest day, I didn't want to not vlog anything, you know. So what I did was that I asked Instagram last night if people could ask me things that I could talk about in this vlog. And one of the things that was asked was, do you work out in the mornings or usually in the evening? Um, now I am a night owl when it comes to working out. I used to be in the mornings, but that was because when I lived in DC, there was actually a gym literally right across the street from my apartment and I had no excuse. So by the time that I would get up in the mornings and get to the gym, the gym would be opening. So I'd be one of the first people there and it was just a lot easier for me to do that. But now I definitely am a night owl when it comes to training but it's just because that's what fits my schedule better that's what um, I'm the most energized for those sessions you know like I, I don't want to go to the gym and not feel my best when I'm training when it comes to training for you guys make sure that you're picking a time that works best for you when you feel your best just because some people go to the gym after work that doesn't mean that you have to also you can absolutely go before work or you can go during your lunch break really just picking a time that works best for you is the absolute key to becoming consistent with a workout routine throughout your week and i'm so so exhausted i'm not sure if you can really tell but i look i look super tired Morning, you guys it is now Wednesday I'm on my way off to work and I just got finished putting my lunch together for today um, so today is actually gonna be a really exciting day because after work I'm actually going to bash tonight and actually one of my clients is going to be there um, which is really exciting so real quick I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing I have some in my bathroom um, in my in the mornings I usually have like a full glass of iced water to just get my digestion going and drinking anything cold really helps me to wake up and then I will always get a coffee from my apartment complex it has like free coffee down the hall so I always get that these high-waisted striped pants one of my co-workers told me that it looked like Beetlejuice but it does um, but yeah these are from Fashion Nova I think or Zapple and then this is just like a black tank top and then this is just a black cardigan but these flats from Forever 21 and then real quick what I just have for lunch in here I have a salmon burger four ounce sweet potato and some broccoli and okra and then for breakfast one of these 100 calorie uh, the cinnamon roll oatmeals and then I will have a scoop of protein powder with that and then for snack I have one of these bodybuilding.com signature protein crunch bars so usually if I don't prep my meals um, for the next day for lunch or for breakfast the night before I will always get it made um, like in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work so now I'm going to head off to work and catch the bus and then I'll see you guys later this afternoon hello friends I'm now back from work and I'm about to get ready to go to my boxing class at the bash studio which means I need my pre-workout because I'm actually going to a later class so I'm gonna need the extra energy um, but I'm really looking forward to today's class because I haven't gone boxing in about a week and the last time I lifted was on Monday so tip 
number three in this video for you guys is to have a consistent lifting schedule. So for us people who have like full-time jobs or who have um, classes or anything like that, it's really important that you develop some sort of routine. So don't just try to wing it when it comes to working out. Actually set up a schedule of I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday of this week, right after work, right before work, or if you don't even um, go to the gym, you can just sign up for a few local classes at any local studios. Even at your local gyms, um, they have classes available from spin to Zumba. Just find something that you really enjoy doing and then try and make a consistent habit out of that and then you will get into the routine of consistently going and it won't feel like you're always going to work out and it won't feel like a chore, you know? So that's what I'm currently doing. Boxing two times a week and then lifting usually during those other days of the week. And then I'll try to take like at least, not try, definitely at least take a rest day. Rest is important when you're trying to make progress, okay? So at least one rest day um, a week, sometimes two. But, um, and then tomorrow I'm going boxing again. Obviously I'm gonna get my pre-workout together and go to bash. So I'm here half an hour early. I don't know if you can hear. There's currently a class going on. So I have class in about 30 minutes. But yeah, I'm just getting all ready and set up. I've shown you guys before what the studio looks like. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you usually see like what the studio looks like through there. But this by far is one of my favorite places in the DC places in the DC area. And I don't know if I've actually mentioned on my channel, but I'm actually a brand ambassador with the studio gym. And they just took on as an investor one of the Caps players, uh, the DC Capitals hockey players, one of them, Tom Wilson. He's now an investor which is really freaking exciting and they're opening a second location this summer I believe like down the street from where I live so this is a really really sick place for any of you guys who are subscribed or watching this video if you're in the DC area come and check out bash for a killer not just boxing but like a hit workout one of my favorite places to be and what I'm wearing for this class this tank top will absolutely come off at some point in the class and used as a towel this is one of the Gymshark Seamless, I think it's the Vital Seamless, the last one, um, sports bra in black. And then this is one of their Fit Leggings. It's like from 2016, really old, but black is definitely a color I would recommend for this type of class because you sweat buckets and then your hair gets like all over your face. Hey guys, so Talk class with Christy. If y'all don't know her, she's actually a YouTuber in the DC area as Aren't well. We all? <laughs> She is in, are you grad school or undergrad? Yeah, I'm a grad school. Undergrad, graduate school. Grad school. Graduate school, sorry, not undergrad. Oh, graduate. We're adults here, so it's grad school. And she goes to school at American University. I'm not in school, as we all know this, but it's just really cool to finally get to know other, like, influencers, like, you know? social media people. Yes, so that's a more appropriate word. Get it. Like, That's true. Do you ever vlog in public yes. and people are just like, are you from planet? I Venus? try to sometimes and then that reason alone, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Someone tweeted me one time and they were like, um, my friend said she saw someone vlogging in Arlington. She was like, is this LA? And I was like, yeah, that was probably me. <laughs> to be fair, there are a lot of like fitness people and like vloggers popping up and bloggers too. In like DC? in this DC, yeah, there's a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I need make to find so out cool. who they are. Yeah. But this vlog is all about, like, similar to what you did, how to stay fit with a nine to five. What's Hell a tip yeah. that you have for being fit with a nine to five? Honestly, I think you just have to plan it. And it's funny because I am not a planner at all. Like, with my personal life, it's a complete mess. But I figured out that, like, if you write in that you're going to work out, like, we planned this. Yeah a while ago like and then you just bag. know you're gonna do it then you go like you put your clothes in your bag for work and then you just go and yeah you yeah no regrets you fail to plan plan to fail actually care that post-workout glow we're still 